All right, so this is Sunday is game night. Yay. And I am here. Let's make Yay. sure all this is working. Don't need this box anymore. Can I please edit the scene? Well, can I do this? No. Box from Riddler? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I have the and box from up. Secret. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> box is gone. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Don't have to worry about this anymore. So, tonight we are going to be playing Betrayal at House on the Hill. And we are going to be picking our characters. Um, so, what were you saying, Pineapple? Like, roll the haunt dice and whoever gets the highest roll goes first and then we just go in that order? Or? And then descending order. Okay. Tends to be the way I do it. I will go and roll next then. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Who wants to roll next? I'll roll next. So how do I roll? You, you can, can click and drag to highlight all of them. R. R usually is. It's easy. <laughs> you only have to hit it once. Two, three, four, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of high rolls. Trying to roll them one at a time now? <laughs> no, I just wanted to see if I could roll them. Also, rolling them like that could be a problem. <coughs> I'll roll, I guess. Okay. Oh! Might want to just stick with R. <laughs> or the... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who has left to roll? I do. Round. Nope. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Do try to remember the number you rolled. How did you bunch them like that? I forgot how to do that. Just Shake shaking it. them. Shake it. One, two, three, ten. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Man, I was just gonna dice keep is on fine. rolling. Okay. So is that everybody? Uh, unless we want me to roll again, since I rolled off cam. No, it's fine. Unless you want to roll again, since you're towards the end. No, it's it's <laughs> fine by me. Okay. So I think I got the highest roll, so I will go Yes, first. you had a 12, yes? Yes. Let's see. But I think we had two 10s, didn't we? Yeah. I think so. So the two 10s should roll off. And the way I think we do it is that these are actually, like, supposed yes, to the, be... Yes, the colors are paired. Yes. So if I chose, for example, example Heather then Jenny LeClerc would become unavailable. Correct. Um, okay, so who are the two tens? I got oh. ten. Maybe we just had the one ten. I have sworn that we had a second ten, but I don't remember. Me neither, so let's just go with it. Sure. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, it's really hard to pick. I think I am going to go with Heather. No. I want Jenny. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it I'm was either between her or Vivian. So do you want to be I'm... Jenny? You want me to leave her for you? have different stats or something. Yeah, if you look yes. at the uh, sides, like it says speed, might, sanity, and knowledge, you start with the number in green. So I'm going to take All Vivian right. then. So I'm going to take Professor Longfellow. And then I'm going to delete Madame Zostra. Oh, these are all locked. Let me unlock them.
Who was our ten? Me. You are choosing... Jenny. Me. I believe that I was next with eight. Yeah, because I had a five. <laughs> so I will take Flash. <coughs> okay. And I will take Brandon. All right, no creepy little girls today. Just creepy old men. And then we all start in the entrance hall, so you can take your little markers towards there. Um, I guess the also... The white one is gone. It shouldn't be. Oh, where is it? I think someone took purple as mine instead of white. One second. No. I can fix it. There. <laughs> okay. And then right. there's this little bag over here Neat. in the corner. You'll want to take out four little pips and use that to mark your uh, your current statistics or whatever. When you reach the skull on any of those tracks, you are dead. Unless it is not the haunt yet. Oh, is that how that goes? If the haunt has not yet occurred, you may not die. Oh. Sorry about that. I didn't... Question. Yeah, if you have it on the skull and the haunt happens, are you just automatically dead? No, you you are unable to go down to the skull until the haunt happens. So if you are on your lowest stat before the skull and something says lose a stat, you just don't. Makes sense. I'm going to move these dice out of the way into the corner. And then the way that we determine who starts the game, you look at your character's birthday. Whoever's birthday is next, like... Um, next in line, it will be first. It's not going to be me, because, um... Flash Vivi was born on June 6th. January 11th for Vivian. July 27th. <coughs> Did Did March. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah. My, my guy's born in May, so... The March has I it. Win? Hello? March? Mm-hmm. And Wait, how come, how come March? Was it for who has the birthday latest? No, it's whoever's no. birthday comes next. So oh, it is oh, currently right. February in real life. So if there is a February with a number higher than 21, they get next. If failing that, the next March, then in April, etc. Okay, everything is and shuffled. Once turn order has been determined from there, it is clockwise. Yep. So it'll go Grave, Fool, Nano, Me, and then Pineapple in that order. I would like to go there. Okay. Uh, so you can draw that card. That'll work. Ooh. And door placement does matter. The organ, organ room. room. Okay. Yeah, and you get an more. event. I'm glad that it's I'm glad that it's the piano type organ. Yes. The other kind of organs would make a much more distressing room. <clears throat> oh, you collapse to the floor. Visions of the future events pouring through your head. Which is one of these two options. Uh, Ooh, that's good. I will choose the second one. I'll just roll four dice. So I, hold on, let me read that again. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I can I use the number for something else. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you basically will write it down on a piece of paper and then you save it for later. That's definitely the recommended two. Yeah. 
Especially if you roll well like that. <coughs> seven. Nice. You have a seven banked. That is pretty awesome. Um, what would help uh, is um, if you would just write a seven down on the board next to him. Oh. Since you have the power to do that. That's true. I can do that. I can. I do not. I don't have a, the paint thing. I do. Oh, there you yes, go. but she does Voila. as the host. Yes, I Voila. have Seven. disabled a lot of potential trolley stuff, just in case. <laughs> By the power of the gray skulls, she has the power. <laughs> the used card goes where? Is this a discard pile? Or? Um, you can just have a discard pile, like, in front of it, like, here. -ish. That's a fair enough place to put it. Okay, full. Cool. you're up. All right. Go here. Okay. Well, you have to draw the next one. Go and, on the next. and the next. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, there you right, go. There you go. So I'll just put those there. Ooh. Okay, might want to put those down. discard piles further away. Yeah, I just noticed that they were snapping like there. How come you can't grab like the ones that were being found? Well, if you uh, look before. at the one, like, if you look at what's highlighted here, you can see, like, they have basement or upper highlighted. Oh. So you can All only right. use them on the floor that's highlighted. Which floor is highlighted? Um, so, for example, we are currently on the ground floor. So you can only take so things that have ground floor highlighted. Like, you could use this card, for example. Oh, right. So mine has an omen on it. Girl. Companion. A girl. Trapped. Alone. You free her. Nice. And now I gain one sanity and one knowledge now. Lose one sanity and one knowledge if you lose custody of the girl. This omen cannot be dropped, traded, or stolen. Make a haunt roll. What's okay. a haunt roll? You're about to find you out. They you roll all of the dice. And hope that you don't get all blanks. Yes, <laughs> at this point. All <laughs> blanks is just... What? <laughs> it is entirely possible to <laughs> haunt on the very first omen. It's just very It's unlikely. just very rare. Yeah. <laughs> the mechanics that take out dice or something? Nope. nope. It's just as we increase, oh, you, basically the idea is that if the number that you roll on the hunt is equal to or less than the number of omens currently in play. Oh my gosh, you got a three. That is close. That <laughs> is too close. That is way too close. So for example, Nano, if we had three omens currently revealed and in play, the hunt would begin. And when the haunt no, no, begins, have I will... have had four. Oh, I thought it was equal Less to... Than. Oh, okay. Less than. All right. Less That's than. why you have to roll blanks on the very first one. Okay. So if we uh, had... There are, th yeah, there are 13 omens in the game, and the highest roll those dice can produce is a 12. That's... Then we're rolling too many. Because no. you're only supposed to roll this many. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, six, okay. Yep. Six. Right. These are for when things can do, like, have right. higher might or when, whatever. When fights happen. Yes. Uh, the haunt roll is only supposed to be six dice. And you still did really badly with eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... <clears throat> so, if you look at your character, you have a speed of four, Nano. So you want to mark yes. that... Because that could change later. So you want to put these little pips next to your little green numbers. Just so you know where you're at. That means that you can move four spaces. But you have to stop when you're like exploring a room. But if there's nothing that happens in the room, like you don't find an item, an event, or an omen, then you can keep going. Alright. So, every time you go through one of these doors here, if there's no room on the other side, you have to draw one of these map tile cards and flip it over. And so basically we're kind of building the house as we explore it. 
Ooh. All right, is it my turn? Yes. Come on. Come on, cards. So are you, which direction are you moving? Are you moving um, down this way? I'm going, move, I'm going to move westward. Behind the organ. Okay, so you're going one, two, no, three? Eight. No, or here. Oh, okay. All right. But make an arrow like that. Uh, you get the uh, the line tool and click once. You don't have to just tab. Yeah. Just tab. Be tab. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that the finger tool did it as well. Yep. Just a tab. Anyway. <laughs> That's weird. My finger tool uh, is not doing. You it. have to hit tab. Oh, tab. Not tab. I thought he said tab. 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 Okay, so good. Okay, so, so you can use, use ground, this one. Right? Yeah, you can use that one. So you can flip it. <coughs> oh, the kitchen. Okay. Fitting. Another one. Must in... go like that. Yep. Yeah. Well. Door to door, right? And or then well, you find you could... the omen. You find an omen in the kitchen. So you have to draw an omen, and that ends your turn. Uh. Dead ending a door like that is not allowed unless you have no other choice. Okay. There. Perfect. So go so ahead that's and. Got a... Yeah, it's you can see a there's a little bird icon. thing. It has mm. a little bird icon that means that you draw an omen card. Oh, a you dog. Have... You got a dog. You got a. Someone get a dog, someone get a little girl. That won't go wrong. Gain one might and one sanity now. Lose one might and one sanity if you lose custody of the dog. So, on your sheet over there, move the pips up one slot. Might and sanity. Alright. Just reading it. You can move the pips on my sheet if you want. Nana, this is your dog. <laughs> we now have a four in each. I gave you a little marker for your dog. He's in the kitchen with you. Rolling. So yeah, now you have to make uh. a haunt roll. And you Me? want, yes, so you'll want to roll these six dice here. Because yeah, at the bottom of your card it says make a haunt roll now. Okay, I, was, I wasn't finished reading it. Okay. Come on, dice. All right, the haunt does not begin. That's good. Barely. <laughs> You guys need to roll a little bit higher on your dice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It could be fun to have the haunt happen super early. <laughs> so I'm going to go... Go ahead and go. The random this number way. goddess isn't with us. Okay, so I just found a hallway. A hallway. And then I'm keep just going. Gonna, yep, going to keep going. So. How come you can keep going? Because there's Cause nothing she didn't in there. Draw a card. Yeah. Uh, Nothing is in that room, so it's boring. So I'm just gonna go on into the game room and have an event. Whoops! You feel a body under your foot. Before you can leap away from it, you're knocked over. A giggling voice runs away from you. Turn over all your item cards. I don't have any. Uh, okay. That's lucky. So yeah, nothing happens basically. What else? Read the play for your right. Does what? I was supposed to turn over all of my item cards, shuffle them, and then the player to my right would randomly discard one of them. Uh -huh. But I don't uh -huh. have any, so uh -huh. nothing happens. All right. That's my turn. Okay, gang. I think we should split up. Sure. <laughs> we go. Sure. Always works well. Three. Always works. <clears throat> Two. Three. 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 There's <coughs> but I go six. My speed is six, to, so I'll be upstairs. 
who wants to be Elmira and who wants to be Daphne and who wants to be Shaggy. Well, I'm clearly Scooby. <laughs> you have the dog, so I think it's pretty clear who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, you I'll can't be make me laugh. Then. When I laugh, I cough. Uh, Another I have found omen. a balcony with an omen. Ooh. My omen is... A book. A book. Ah. You didn't do a diary? Get your hands off of my book so I can read it. Well, Jesus how, why don't you hold alt and then you can read it? That's what, I've do that's what I'm doing. It's super blown up yep. and you hold alt. Yeah. Oh. They're teaching you all the things. It's not all of the things. Zoik, Scooby. This okay. place looks pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, you gotta stop making me laugh so much, because then I cough. Yeah. Uh. Right. Well, well I, guess it, I guess I can put it in my hand. Yeah. Or does that make it private? It doesn't. I turn that off, so. Cool. You can, all, you can put your cards in your hand or lay them on the table. It doesn't matter. Put your cards uh -huh. in your hand. Like, uh, this area. Oh, right. And everyone can still see him. I thought there was, like, a right-click and put into a hand sort of thing. <coughs> no, I don't think so. That it? Three omens? Don't roll a two. Or less. Don't roll okay, no, that's... that's, that's see, cool. I'm good at rolling high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll see how that holds up. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so how do you know something lets you go upstairs or or not? You can go up these the staircase here, but the basement we have to find either the basement landing to go down into the basement, not the basement like, like the stairs to the basement or The only way to go into the basement is fall in and then like uh, find your way out. Yeah, you have to oh, find your way you, out. Can't you use there the magic only elevator? There stairs back up. Can oh, right, the elevator can get you down there, too. Hey, talk oh, about falling into the basement. <laughs> there you go. Collapse rule. You must attempt a speed roll of five to avoid falling. If you fall, the ro <coughs> you fail the roll, draw the basement tile and put it in play. And then take one die of physical damage. Oh, we'll just roll. Wait. Uh, we'll just roll. Okay, I got confused because Nano is purple, but Grave is playing Jenny. So I got confused for him. Yeah, good and white. And you're white. I know. <laughs> so, like, huh. What a purple. Uh, what roll? I don't think have? that you're able to change where you're sitting, though. So we couldn't put everyone in their correct color places. Yeah, I can change where I'm sitting. Yep. Oh, okay. Four. Perhaps we might want to do that. Four dice. Um, uh, maybe. I mean, I want to make sure that I'm still oriented like this, though, for the stream. I'm gray now, so that's pretty close to white. Wee. But my I'm name has gone from the. Yeah, yeah, you should. You should just remain purple. It's fine. Is that <coughs> subtracted from might, yeah? The damage? Okay, so what did you roll? Uh, not enough. Four. I need five, right? Yeah, five plus. Two. Two. Damage that comes looks... from... But I think the thing is, is like, okay, so... You would roll four okay. dice, right? I think you rolled too many dice, is the thing. No, no, I, I rolled four. I rolled... All, I rolled... Those dice. Oh, okay. okay. So you didn't roll yeah. this one. Nope. Or this one. Okay, that's why it got confusing because it was mixed in yeah, with I everything that else. One. I made it. Yeah, if I rolled that one. I made it. <laughs> okay, so you didn't make <clears throat> it. Now just roll one die. And then also you have to draw a basement tile, and land on that. You don't land in the basement landing. You draw a basement oh. tile and put it into play. Oh. Okay. Get the uh, below think... collapsed room token. Uh, but I can't pick those up. 
I can unlock it. There you go. drip. Secret stairs, skeletons, wall witch, vault, You'll see. <laughs> You'll see if they happen. Wall witch sounds, you know, terrifying. It's a wall so wa switch. Wait a sec. So should it be connected to the basement landing, or does it not have to be? Uh, it has to be connected to the basement yeah. landing. That's what I thought. I was like, man, that is really far away. <laughs> but you don't... Does he get the omen from that? Uh, he does, yes. I was about to say, you might uh, not want to cover up the omen. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. because this is one of the two-sided rooms, he gets to pick <coughs> which side of it he falls on. Oh, cool. So, which Oops. side do you want to be on? Do you want to be at this doorway here? Or do you want to be at this doorway here? Doorway right there. there okay. So, did you roll one die to take one die of physical damage? One. One. So now you t subtract one point from either might or speed your choice. Okay. Definitely might. All right. Definitely might. And then you can Seems get good. an omen. Omen. Too many omens. Bite. Okay, this is not... Something bites you. Sure. When you draw this card... You're right. <laughs> There's a might 4 attack against you for the mysterious something. You defend we're against not, this attack as well. We're not reading the cards all that well. A growl. A scent of death. <laughs> Pain, darkness, gone. I appreciate the atmosphere. <laughs> okay, so the player on your right would be Pineapple. And I roll how many dice again? Four. Four, four might attack. So I'm rolling four take. as well. Well, there's a, I was about to say, there's another two there. Yep. Roll off. <clears throat> you gotta beat a three. Three? You got that six. handled. <laughs> you took no oh, damage. Oh. And now you gotta make a haunt roll. Let's get rid of the... Uh, yeah, not getting anything. Dice. Oh. Ah, it didn't fall off. Nice. <laughs> so do I keep the bite, though? I mean... Yes. Yeah, it, it uh, is yours. Now forever marked as having been bitten. And you can Die also put it into off. your card hand if you like, which is right here. Might make it easier, I don't know, but it's an option. So, out of the four, we rolled a five. Oh my on. gosh, stop! <laughs> stop <laughs> with these low rolls. We are not prepared for the haunt close. right now. <laughs> well, I'm pretty prepared for the haunt. Weapons. How, you have a book. That's it. Yeah, it fixed my one low stat. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The, the girl's pretty sweet. She, 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 I haven't found smart. anything. I just stepped on a body and it knocked me over. You didn't get bitten. That's good. All right, so it's. I've uh, got a. I've got a wolf. <laughs> it's up to me, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go upstairs. One, two, three. Uh, I'll go this way. Okay. And you can draw the next card, so that's good. Ooh, storeroom. There's only one that's way an into item. it. An item. Let me, yeah. There you go. Thank you. A bottle, an opaque vial containing <coughs> liquid. Once during your turn, after the haunt is revealed, you can roll three dice and drink from the bottle. Sweet. Oh, we got a roids. There's steroids. If you roll a zero, it lose. What is poison. it? Lose two ah. from each trait if you roll a zero. All right. And that's Ooh. just a regular item, not an omen. Correct. Our turn is over. No rolling. All right, Nano, you're up. All righty then. So I'm going to stay on the ground floor. You know, I don't know what you people are doing going upstairs. So I'm going to go south one. We're, we're finding cool stuff upstairs. Is what we're doing. That is true. 
I think actually I'm going to go to the east one, two, one, two, and then go south one. Okay. <coughs> So, oop, oh. oop, that's not right. Not the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you, you need that one. It's fine. Oh, yeah, because right. yeah, there's got ground on it. The one beneath that would be basement. I got the conservatory. Okay, so you, gotta, you want to turn it to line up the doorways. Oop. You can rotate it with the mouse wheel. Q and E works too. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And you get an event in there. And your dog comes with you, I believe. It's just following Come you. On, you can use the, Come on, you yellow. Can use the puppy to transfer items in the future. Once during your turn, the dog can move to the any voice. explored room. I am buried under the floor. The voice whispers words when you're gone. You must attempt a knowledge roll. When you find something, <coughs> you draw a card. On a zero to three, so you can search for the voice, but you know avail. That's actually a All really right. good event, because like nothing bad happens from that. Yep. Okay, so to make yeah, a knowledge I, roll, you uh, want to look at your knowledge. Your knowledge is five, so you get to roll five dice for that. So you want to take five of these ready? dice, and you want to roll it, and you want to try to... What was it? Get four plus on that dice. That is more yep. than four. So that means you get to draw an item from the item deck. One item card. That's solid. What'd you get? Adrenaline Adrenaline shot. Adrenaline shot. A syringe of strange fluorescent liquid. Before you attempt a trait roll, you can use this item to add four. See, those are the steroids. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. There are too many drugs in this home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did so... you like my in-character reading of that I card? did. I did like it. It would have been better if you only read the voice part in that thing, and then you <coughs> went back to a normal voice for the rules it's part It's it. fine. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh. I'm giving actual constructive notes. Yes, you are. I also like Astiari's It's fine. <laughs> she sounds like a mother. <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. It'll oh, just, just say wash that out at the end. Just saying your dog can actually explore too. So can... No, the, the dog cannot explore rooms. It can just. Wait, what? No? Oh, just go. No. Just move? It can Red. move oh, and right. transfer Red. items. <laughs> Drip. Yes, a rhythmic sound that needles at your brain. Put the drip token in this room. <laughs> Each explorer rolls one fewer die, minimum of one, on all trait rolls while in this room. And it's in the graveyard, which means it's really, really hard to get out of the graveyard now. Yay. Well, without losing we whatever. Now have, we now have even fewer reasons to ever go in the graveyard. Yeah. Why would you go into the graveyard usually? On uh, accident, if the mostly. Haunt requires it. Yeah, that's really it. Ah, the so... only reason to ever go in the graveyard is if the haunt requires it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move me, put the drip here, put myself there. That's fine. Okay. It's going to continue in a straight line. Library. So Ooh, who's yeah, blue? Who's got I'm blue? even I'm smarter. Who's got the blue piece? Me. All right. It's me and you, Astiani, down here. We've got the synergy. Sure. <laughs> 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 I don't feel super confident. I'm not finding anything but awful stuff. But yeah, that's nice. If you end your turn here, you gain one knowledge. But does that happen before or after the... Card uh, the card there. happens first, so if the card moves me, I don't get. Oh, okay. Webs. 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 Uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> Casually, you reach up and brush some webs aside, but they won't brush away. They cling. <laughs> you must attempt a might roll. On a four, better you break free and gain an additional might. 
but on a zero through three, you're stuck, and keep this card. If you are stuck, you cannot do anything until you are freed. Once, during an explorer's turn, any explorer can attempt a might roll to free you. You can also attempt this roll. On a four or better, uh, you don't gain the one might, uh, but you still break free. And you... I'll stay that way for three turns? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three unsuccessful tests, and I break free anyway. <coughs> okay. So... Doesn't I'm actually kind of... Yeah, I try right now. And if I get a 4 or better, I'm out. You don't have to worry if about I, it. If I could, I would have tried to play like the scream sound that we once heard in a game that was... <coughs> Damn. It was I like only a rolled a 2. Scream. Bummer. We should put the web so, yeah. there. I was gonna yeah, say... Leave like, leave the card with you. Next. Yeah. Because I didn't break out. But I do gain a knowledge. Nice. Here you go. You, you, know, know, you now know that webs are sticky. Congratulations. Dude is in the Also, webs. of note, you only gained the point one time per stat per room. I don't just keep gaining knowledge by remaining in the library. Yep. Oh, so you can't just, like, be hanging <laughs> out in the library with all the books. And <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. About I was that. really hoping to get that bonus strength. That would have been nice. Well, then you would have been the traitor, and then we would have all hated yeah, you. Yeah, and then I'd win because I'm <laughs> overpowered. Been great. Okay, Grave, you're up. Item. The wine cellar. Smelling salts. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, that's a long fool. Even more drugs. I could do for you know, right now. If you are another living explorer's knowledge is below the starting value, and you're in the same room, you could base that trait to its starting value by using the smelling salts. Oh, okay. Discard this item after you use it. I can heal knowledge. <laughs> that's good. Alright. <coughs> I feel so bad for you, SD. I knew that you're playing a little sick. Ooh. That's okay. I'm getting better. I'm on antibiotics. It's good. I'll go this way. It's not oh, a terrible what? plan to it's come to the library and just get the stat boost for helping me. No. That's Actually, true. you're right. Yeah. I'll do that. <clears throat> so. How's your might? Well, he's a little kid. So pretty good, actually. <laughs> somehow He's, better than yours. <laughs> yeah, somehow, somehow, this little kid is stronger than me. <laughs> Darren Flash Williams. So. Well, you're the. Well, you're just right for a superhero, then. Damn it, Brandon <laughs> Jasper, help me! Help me, little boy. Okay, so just let's do this. This would be a great time to have a hard candy scene happen. All right. What? Yay! Yeah! Door. It works. And You're free! free. Webs. And I get a knowledge. Which <laughs> and you get a knowledge. <coughs> doesn't exactly help me, but at the same time, if I that girl goes away, I still have five, so that's good. And having more knowledge to work with is definitely not a bad thing. No, yeah. Especially right. since the... I know. Alright, so I'm going to go one... To the north. Um, yeah, what? one knowledge actually bumped you up two points, though, so that's really good. Yeah, yeah. The the girl bumped me up that and that. So if I somehow lose her, I'll, I'll still be at five. So that's, that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then one to the east, and then I shall go through the north door. Oh, and I can there also isn't see. A door there. That's not a door. That's a painting. Uh oh. <laughs> no, it looks like a door. It does it's look not, like a door. But it's not a door, it's a painting. <laughs> what? There's, you can go this it's, way, oh. it's not but a door. not this yeah. way. Oh. Yeah, that's not a door. Are you sure? That yes. Looks like it's not oh, a yes, door. Yes, <laughs> Wait, which north? <laughs> north? North is kind of right, yeah? Yeah, I th yeah. he's got to go this way. This is where I was. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that is a door. I... <laughs> 
I'm looking at it sideways from you. Yeah. Pineapple yes, that's is why I was that's <laughs> painting, yeah. Directions. Alright, and we get... The coal shoot. Wonderful. Whee! You're now downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> One way slash. I see my name is Vivian. <laughs> Vivian. So you end up right here, the basement landing. Uh, now your turn is not over if you still have movement points. All right, so I can move forward. I can. I uh, shall no, move. your speed is four. You came from the conservatory, though. One, two, one, two, one, two three. Yeah. And you can, can go four. one more room. Okay, then I shall in this basement landing. Go west. Kids west. So that one. There. <laughs> There's a basement. All right, and I get me the gymnasium. The gymnasium. Get yep. faster. I'm gonna get swole. And you also get an omen. All right. We're at, and we might. This time it might. Also, be the it hunt. looks like the HUD has some sort of omen tracker that you could be yes. increasing. Oh, there, there's an omen tracker. Where? The right side. Uh... Oh, that's a note thing. Once during your oh, turn. Oh, I have it you turned off. You can <coughs> use the mask to. You can attempt a sanity roll to use the mask. On a 4+, plus, put on the mask and take off the mask. If you put on the mask, gain 2 knowledge and lose 2 sanity. If you take the mask off again, you gain 2 sanity and lose 2 knowledge. On a 0-3, to three, you can't use the mask. Who I guess I roll. Huh. And now you roll for a haunt. 1, 2, uh, 3... That's stick. So 5. We have to get 6... All right, so what is Wait. it? Okay. So roll five dice now? Yeah, you'll roll all those dice, these these six yeah, dice. There are four omens, actually. Oh, wait, the girl, because no, he doesn't have it in his hand. I didn't count the girl because he had it out, not in his hand. <laughs> Two, three, yep. So if we roll four or less, we uh, start the hunt. Yep. yep. Four or less. All right. Uh, four. I'm gonna first roll to use the mask, and then I'm gonna roll to haunt. Is that right? No. You have to make a haunt okay. roll now. Haunt right. roll Because basically your turn ends, so you won't be able to do that till next turn. Really? That's a haunt. Okay, that's the haunt. Okay, so we have what? The mask and the gymnasium. Let me go ahead and look this up. Haunt number are we? We are in the gymnasium. There's a mask. This is haunt number 22. For haunt number 22, left of the haunt revealer, which is me, is the traitor. <laughs> so you guys will be You're fine. You're evil. <laughs> the rest of us get to look at the secrets of survival now. Okay, which I have linked in the Discord. So you guys can check that out. Um, I am also going to take off my earphones so you guys okay. can talk about stuff if you need to. Um, we are looking, and it was Haunt 22, correct? Yes, I believe so. Let me just double check. Gymnasium mask, Haunt number 22. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my earphones now. I'm going to look at my trader's tome. And, and I will read the uh, secrets of survival for us. So just um, either send me a message in Discord or like start pinging your mice around or something when you Sounds guys are good. done. Okay. So that's the number Every shutter is groans. A wave of heat envelops you. Another shutter. Then the sound of wood tearing. Concrete collapsing. One of your fellow explorers screams. Hang on, everyone! Oh, no. We're all going to hell! <laughs> a flickering glow <coughs> the wall. Gray 
haste rusheth into the room. A portion of the house crumbles and falls down into the burning lake of fire. You scramble into safety, desperately wondering how to prevent the house from collapsing into hell. And taking you all with it. Yay. Right We're now, going to hell, guys. Of, right now, set aside a number of sanity roll tokens, the triangular tokens, equal to the number of players, all of us, not just uh, survivors. So we're going to need her to unlock those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five of us. We're going to need five triangular tokens. Uh, please don't ping like that. You're going to summon her back, and we're not done yet. Uh, you said do we need to her. Do we need the, to for her to unlock them? Yeah, we can get not her now. to unlock them later. Not now. Oh, all right. Sorry. Now I have to <clears> worry <throat> about her coming back in while we're still reading. What to Are do you about still it. there, Estiani? I don't uh, think she is. Anyway. Uh, what right. we know about the bad guys. The traitor welcomes the abyss and wants to make sure everyone else goes along for the ride. We win when we successfully perform an exorcism to keep the house from collapsing. To perform exorcisms, we must perform an exorcism to keep the house from being sucked into the abyss. This requires a number of successful exorcism rolls equal to the number of players. Each roll requires a specific room or item, and <coughs> each one requires a sanity roll or sanity knowledge roll. Uh, sanity or knowledge roll, sorry. I thought I heard her cough like she was back. It's slightly, put, it's slightly voice activated. Five plus. Anyway, um, okay. we need a sanity roll of five plus in the cha uh, the chapel, the crypt, the pentagram chamber, or while holding the holy symbol or ring. Uh, None of those. Uh, no, good. I think we have the crypt, don't we? No, but we have no, the, no, library. the catacombs. Yeah, we, we have, have the catacombs. We have none we of need those. Knowledge rolls in the library, library, library. research laboratory, holding the book. I have the book, uh, or the crystal ball. So, at very least, we're gonna get, we're gonna be able to make two of these, yeah, easily, right. out of the five we need. Uh, every successful exorcism roll put one of the sanity or knowledge tokens on the room. Uh, or the item card to make sure that we don't use it a second time. Exorcism still counts even if the room gets destroyed by falling into hell. Which is nice. Uh, Explorer can use it after it's been used. If the hero successfully used an item or a room as part of the exorcism role, no explorer can. Can oh use God. that item or room <coughs> in an exorcism again. For example, mm -hmm. if you successfully perform a sanity role in the chapel, then you can't use the chapel again. When the right. heroes have placed a number of these tokens equal the number of players, the house stops collapsing. You must do this on your turn. Someone else can read that. At the end of our turn, the trader will tell us to turn over some of the room tiles. Those rooms have fallen into hell. It's not good. The trader is keeping track of the passage of time with the turn slash damage track. If you're carrying the holy symbol and you're in a room adjacent to a destroyed room, you can sacrifice the holy symbol instead of turning over the room tiles. The adjacent rooms must have a connecting door. When you do, discard the car. You no longer need to turn over those tiles. This also prevents the house from <coughs> collapsing until the end of your next turn. Does not, however, stop the turn damage track from advancing. If you're in a room when the abyss engulfs it, you may attempt a speed roll of four or better to escape it. If you succeed, you jump to an adjacent, non-collapsing, discovered room uh, with a connecting door, if there is one. If you fail the roll, or if there isn't a room connected, you are sucked in the abyss and killed. 
If an event or mystic elevator roll sends you to a room or floor that has already been destroyed, you plummet into the abyss. <laughs> the entrance hall, foyer, and grand staircase each count as separate rooms. Use a token to indicate when each is sucked into the abyss. So, so I'm, I'm going to there... take that the mask I uncovered is Majora's mask, and that when I put it on, I activated this hell dimension to spawn under our room, under the house. That's my head cannon. Sure. And, uh... Vivian Lopez has been waiting for that mask to be found so that we can fall in the woods. <coughs> so, to win, oh, so we need to make these knowledge rolls and scramble as fast as you can to find more rooms yep. to get the so, ones we need. Because so we're going to have two out of five. Yeah, you can do twice. So we need three more things. Well... Of Chat I'm going to try on the book first because then you yeah. can try on the yeah, library. I can try on the library. I can only right. try on one per turn. Mm -hmm. uh, if I fail on the book, I will hand it to you so you can try on the book. Perfect. But we still need three more things that we currently do not have. Yes? Yeah. Um, Chapter so, Chapter because turn order jumps immediately to me. As I am to the left of the haunt roller, uh, not haunt roller, uh, the trader, it's going to go me, then grave, then fool, then nano, then the trader gets their first turn. So I'm going to try on the book. If I fail on the book, I hand the book to you, and then look for another room. Yep. Either way, I'm leaving the library because I'm trusting you to handle it. Which way are we treating as left and right? Is it left? Is it your pineapples left? Or it's clockwise. The... Clockwise. It's clockwise, yeah, so... Okay, so left is SDR. Alright. She's the traitor. You're left so when should we call yeah. Lestiani back? Uh, when we're done planning. Right. right now we're detailing the plan yeah. of what we want to do to live. So, so I'm just gonna unlock more rooms in the basement then. Yeah, yeah. no, the basement's gonna probably have the... Uh, I think Basements, has... The basement is going to fall into hell first, so you really need to get out of there if you can. Which means yeah, explore yeah. as hard as you can to find the way back up. Yeah, that's that's true. Yep, I, I, I need to go back up too, yes. <laughs> uh, if I but... could... If I could, if anyone could hear me, I would be... Stay... I had the right idea, staying upstairs. Uh, we had an even writer idea by going further upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you downstairs need to go over here. Because that's your closest explorable room. Uh, right. Stay the hell away from the coal chute and the collapsed room. Just look for more rooms. Yeah, and I the bottle, I mean, it's not a perfect solution, but on a six, I go to a room. Yeah. So, <laughs> that okay. Could, that that could be a a hail mary. I think we're ready to bring her back. Yep. <coughs> I'll message her. Can I come back now? Is that what this yes. is? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is that okay that we just message you to come back? Okay, I am back. All right. We'll be back. So, can we do any sort of things like calling you traitor? Is that not allowed? I'm a traitor. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go and read a thing. Even though technically you guys aren't supposed to see it, it doesn't really matter because you know what's going on. So, I'm going to read my little vignette at the start. Go you ahead. knock another hole in the floor with a savage kick. This time, instead of dust and rotting supports, you discover what you sought. The abyss. Flames. A portal to hell. Cackling, you rub your hands together. Just in case the groaning floor of the winding pit doesn't alert everyone in the house, you scream, hang on everyone, we're all going to hell! 
A flickering glow paints the walls, and gray mist rushes into the room. A portion of the house crumbles and falls down, down into a burning lake of fire. So uh, we're we're gonna need you to unlock some of these tokens over here. The sanity roll and knowledge roll chits need to be unlocked for us. Okay. There's that for you, and okay. um. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that um, the Abyss is going to start right here in the gymnasium. Well, of course it is. Yeah. So, ah. I mean, why wouldn't it? So now, <coughs> so now I have to roll speed plus four to escape, right? Well, no, no it's no. not your turn. It's my turn, so I have to do a thing first. Uh, actually, no. The, the turn order jumps to me. Oh, I don't get to take my turn? No, uh, because you got became the uh, traitor, it immediately jumps to the next person in line oh, after okay. the traitor. And I'm getting and really, then, really screwed. <laughs> but well, okay. you've got a leg up in this one, honestly. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's one of the rules, is even if, like, the very <coughs> first person is the traitor, you jump to the person to the left of the traitor. Okay. Clockwise. Boo. Oh, well. I'm okay. still so, gonna try to kill y'all. <laughs> so if Bastiani you had it, I would be the traitor. Would I, be, I could even be, you could say, the secret Hitler. Actually, if I had gotten it, then Pineapple would have been then the traitor. I'd have been the traitor. Okay. Uh, so, first things first on my turn... I will attempt a knowledge roll of five dice to get four points. I got a four got better. Well, nice. Yeah. <coughs> it's good. Um, can we... Uh, there's There should be more of these. Could you duplicate the knowledge roll triangle? Yeah. A couple of times? Okay, the book is now marked with a knowledge roll token. What does that <coughs> mean? Uh, it means a thing that we talked about in private where she couldn't hear it, and we shouldn't discuss right. it further now that she can hear. Good point. All right. So, uh, now that that's taken care of, I will explore a room. I mean, come on, guys. Aren't we all friends? You can tell me. Uh, yeah, we're we're all friends with yeah. people other than the traitor. Who, friends you know, with it all people that aren't sending us to hell. It wasn't it's my cool. choice. I already have a buddy that replaces the other one. We're good. We're good. And okay. I have a dog. That's, so that's not good at really all. I don't like having events happen. Uh, events are almost always horribly bad. Groundskeeper. Oh. You turn to see a man in groundskeeper clothing. He raises his shovel and charges! Inches from your face, he disappears. The muddy footprints and nothing. You must attempt a knowledge roll. Uh, and an explorer in the gardens gains... Uh, no, rolls few... Too fewer. Yeah. So, five dice again, because I'm still decently smart with this book in my hands. Honestly, why is there a gardener in the attic? No. Nope. Uh, and a failed. The groundskeeper reappears and strikes me in the face with the shovel. Player to my right oh, rolls that's a me. mighty four attack for the groundskeeper, and I defend as normal. Well, it doesn't have to, like, uh, I mean, no, I mean, uh, oh. the garden thing. Sorry, how many are you defending with? In the attic. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, four and four. I was trying You're to only it. get three dice. You're doing a dance with the dice. You win. Four. I made a four. I got a three. Versus a three. Yeah. I did good. not get hit in the face. <coughs> Boo. I have successfully not taken damage Boo. from Ghost Gardener in the attic. <laughs> Disapproval. Well, I mean, how, well, at least if you got hit in the face by a Ghost Gardener, your face would have a striking appearance. Ha. <laughs> ha, ha. Okay, Jenny LeCure. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, only one way to go. 
Dude. So can I taunt the traitor while we're making our turns? You can try. Hey, traitor. How does it feel being a traitor, traitor? I don't know. I'm, I feel pretty okay with it. Uh, don't like furnace rooms. That's not good. You're gonna take damage. Ooh, okay. Okay. So, you have to draw your own, <coughs> which has to end your turn. And then you have uh, to take physical damage. Yep. I got a madman. Good. Yeah, I got a companion madman. Okay. Gain two might and lose one sanity now. That might have been the guy who bit you. <laughs> Wait, just what is that? Lose sanity. <laughs> Lose two might and gain one sanity. If you lose custody of the madman, this omen cannot be you. All that stuff. Make the haunt roll. No haunt roll, because haunt has yeah. happened. Haunt's already done. All right. All right. I so. gain two might and lose one sanity. Okay. Two and might. then take one physical damage. And it's not even one die, it's one point. Yep, just How one point. <laughs> How do you take damage? Is it just reducing the might and sanity? You either oh, reduce you... might or speed for physical. If you take mental damage, it's sanity or knowledge. It's always your choice. My right. might goes back to my original starting position. <laughs> Alright. So with that, it's uh, my turn. Uh, What's... I will be making a knowledge check in the library. Seems good. What would you like to call your um, raving madman friend? Bob. Oh no, no. That's not good. Uh, so what's... I forget, what are my options? I don't... Can I do it again, or... No, you can't yeah, do it again thought. this turn. <coughs> um, uh, you gotta go explore. Yeah, I guess I'll explore and then come back. Maybe. Or you can... Well, uh, yeah, no, that I'll get on my next turn. So, yeah, I'll go across. So let's see here. Oh, yep, this one works. Uh, oh, oh, that's a really good card. Now, immediately upon entering, yep. the thing happens. So. Yes, it does. Alright, roll two dice and move this room next to any open door on. <sighs> and then the penny and I roll, it's where it happens, so, okay. Give the zero. Thank you. He rolls, not you. I roll. Stop. Oh, sorry about that. Get a zero. <laughs> no. I'll Give roll. It, floor. <laughs> it is my roll. Two. Two. <laughs> ground floor. Ground floor. All right. Okay. Well, there's only really a couple places you can go. I guess I'll go to the next to the abandoned room. So I got it. Uh, I would recommend putting yourself off of the collapsed room, actually. Oh, that oh, way. Does... But don't I have to actually roll not to be put in the basement? Yep. Or is that just when you enter? Yeah, only when you enter. Uh, so yeah, my suggestion here is so that. Uh... Hmm. I guess I could just go with the kitchen. No, yeah. no, you're right. You're right. You probably want to be off of the abandoned room. <coughs> okay. And right but we, out. I'm just thinking we don't want her to have ready access to the elevator. I know, I know. But. But looks like she's I do. On that floor. <laughs> Plus. Wait, one, two. How much speed do you have? Who me? No, him. <laughs> me? Oh, I have uh, speed of four. One, two, three. You can leave the elevator, but not get back in. Two, three. I would still get out of the elevator because if she gets in it with you, you're going along for a ride. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. Um. So, one, two, three, four. Yep. There we go. Okay. That's my turn. Now me. I can't contribute to the party in any way. You can so, if you explore. All right, so I'm going to stay down here because there's no way, as there's no escape been found yet. My recommendation right. would be over here. All right.
So I'm going to move east to <laughs> there you go. I can't seem to move my token and stuff. All right. So, basement. Wait, what? Hold on. Your gym. Your gym rotates as well. Yoink. Larder. If you, if you end your turn here, gain one might and event. No, I do. <coughs> Angel feather, a perfect feather fluttering in your hand. When you attempt a roll of any kind, you can call out a number from 0 to 8 and use that number instead of the dice. Discard it item after use. Pretty solid. Alright, and then you gain one might. Might. Which is pretty solid for you. Yep, it is. Okay. It's my turn now, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Boop. 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 All right. And then this gets engulfed. Oh no. By the abyss. And then let me just double check. Do, do, do. That's a good idea because she said she was, I forgot that she said she was going to cause that to fall into the abyss. All right, and then we're on turn two. That's it for me. So at the end of five turns, does the abyss, does the portal into the abyss get sealed up, or do we die? I we'll can't. We'll probably die. <laughs> yeah. She can't tell us. Well, I mean, she could, but we'd rather not. Uh, she'd rather not inform us. Uh, my assumption is that it's how quickly we're falling to hell. Why is this flipped? Uh, because, because it's in the abyss. Yeah, oh, the, right. the yeah. room that collapsed no. into the abyss. That room is now a swirling <coughs> vortex of hell. It's in a if burning lake of fire. <laughs> if this were Diablo, there would be creatures coming out of it. <laughs> Thankfully, it's <laughs> not. You just They're get to enjoy the, he the horrific hellscape through the doorway. <laughs> All right, Darren. Yeah, pineapple is your turn. Okay. Um, well, I guess I need to try to escape the uh, attic, so I need to make a speed roll. Well, you're but good at those. I am Flash, so I'm fast as heck. Can I point out that the Flash has found all the flying <coughs> and capture hazards? Oh my gosh, you only oh. just barely did it. I still barely escaped, but I did escape. No. I will go into the library and use <coughs> the shelves and see what I can find all about these shelves. Nope, still nothing interesting in the library. Definitely, definitely a problem. Well, let's resume exploring. We'll be going to that space can you send Ooh. people a message in within the tabletop game um i don't know how if there's a way to whisper we don't know it i get an event my event says creepy puppet i see Ooh. one of those dolls Gives you the willies. It jumps at you with a tiny spear. Player to my right rolls yeah. a might attack four for the creepy puppet. 
I may defend to. this attack as normal. Uh, but if somebody has the spear, uh, <coughs> nobody thankfully does? nobody does. Okay, so I got a five. That's going to be hard to beat. I did yep. not beat it. Ow. So you take three There's physical damage, right? Three physical damage. Yep. Wow. Because you take damage equal to the difference. Yep. Yep. You know, for a companion cube, you're very... You're not very kind. <laughs> three times. Aren't companion cubes supposed to be nice? Um... Ow. I don't think they're supposed to be anything. They're allowed to be whatever they want to be. All right, Jenny Leclerc. All right, uh, I'm gonna keep on going. Hold on. Uh, <coughs> up. Uh, Let's go here. Someday. Oh, good. More branch. I'm gonna play a game Freaky with you guys hallway. and not be coughing. Oh wait, I forgot. There's something you have to do at the end of your turn, pineapple. What's that? Oh, what? You have to collapse one room. Oh, Next to really? the abyss. That's not good for us. No, that's not good at all. And there's only one uh, room that you can collapse. And I can't touch it because it's a base card, so you're gonna Let have to do it Let me unlock it. There you go. Boom. What happened? Uh, at this point, I'd like to here. shout, uh, <coughs> "Guys, it's getting a little hot down here." Oh wait, where do I go? To foyer. Uh, so one, two. You found the way out of the basement. I'm That's going to try to collapse it. <laughs> That kind of sucks for Nano, who's now super trapped. <laughs> oh, you guys wow, have a magic man. elevator. You can chill. Should I, should I get out to foyer or should I go <coughs> on exploring? I would appreciate. Uh, I would appreciate if he came and rescued me. Really, exploring this spot is good. Exploring this spot is bad. Like, Having so a way out of the basement, good. But we still have places that we need to find. I love the idea. Hey, fool. You like me. You like Where me, is the right? Basement? Where is the basement? Uh, there there's go. one. We all, we're all out. Junk room. When Tomorrow, exiting, please. you must attempt a might roll of three. Or lose one speed. Fall, <coughs> Uh, I'd like to think cool. that if you fall, you land on something spiky that hurts your leg. Lego, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you just step on a bunch of Legos. <laughs> yeah, a lot of junk. Ouch. So it's Lego. And if you're mm. walking barefoot, then? Top tile, room, stack. If you use a spirit board of their haunt, has been revealed, also, the trailer can move. What? If you use the spirit board after the haunt has been revealed, the trader can move one any number of monster one place closer to you. There's no monster. Thankfully, in there. there aren't monsters in this particular haunt. No, nope, there's just a big gaping abyss to hell. Just a giant hole into nothingness. <coughs> it's fine. It's fine, guys. I don't understand why you don't like want to go to hell with me. Like, come on. If there is no trader, all monsters. Okay. This is completely useless. Well, it, you know, it's a little hot in hell, you know? And oh, I no, get. I don't like hot. I don't well, like no, hot. Well, no, the spirit board is still good because you can uh, still look at the stacks. You can peek ahead with it. It's got a downside, but because of the uh, haunt we're on, there isn't a downside. Right. So it's actually good. Okay. So. The spirit I'd... elevator is pretty random, uh, so... You know, you could just go to the collapsed room and fall down into the basement. 
That's so bad. Either the basement landing, oh, which is not. Which no, is no, you would land in the <laughs> catacombs. Or yeah, you could go to the it. coal chute and slide down into the abyss. <laughs> Both options sound bad. Uh, so I'm probably gonna stick with Plan A if that's okay with Pineapple. Seems good. Okay. Are you going to come and rescue me? No. No, no you're you're dead. <laughs> Hold on. So like. Now, oh. can people go for Oh, wait, before you do distance? anything, Grave, you have to collapse oh. a room next to the abyss. That happens on every single one of our turns? Uh -huh. That seems awfully fast. I uh, will double uh, check. Um, turn this, two, each what? player collapses one room. Yeesh. Turn? That is bad. Well, for turn two... Well, well, I have to use this one then, because yeah. the other one is just <coughs> a kill. Yeah. It says, you must do this on your turn. At the end of your turn, the trader will tell you to turn over some room tiles in the house. These rooms collapse and are part of the abyss. <laughs> That's my only choice then, I mean. Yes, that yeah, is. Um, yeah, because... Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm getting out. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> uh, at this I'm point, I'd hear... At this point, I'd like to imagine that I hear the whoosh of another room falling into hell as my room is now just hanging in space, and I'm like, uh, fuck. So, <laughs> I'm in the library now. Let's try to make <coughs> some inconsequential role in the library. Yeah. Inconsequential. All right. Here's my five dice. Oh, my, if I grab them all. Really? Yay! Hooray! Hooray! Okay. The library now has a lovely tile on it. And it did all my movement. That's my action. Alright, then go ahead and collapse the room next to the abyss. Oh. Yeah. You c this is, you know, this is a pretty bad situation for me. Yeah. Well, <coughs> just keep exploring. Yeah, run. It'll be fine. Just outrun right. the abyss. You Don't sure. get a dead end. <laughs> All Professor right, so. Longfellow, we hardly knew you. This is the last <laughs> card. Just... There's no other cards. But then we, we shuffle. This... Yeah, you reshuffle. Okay. We'll just put them all back. Okay. Put them all together. Now shuffle them up. Now, Oop. look for a basement one. There oh. it is. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that works, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah. There. Okay. Dead end. <laughs> Bad room. quiet, you traitor. <laughs> Alright, and I go, huh? Flip. <laughs> dead end! Goddamn dead end. <laughs> dead end, and... <laughs> wow. And not a room we needed. That is... So you get really an you. event. But you can uh, get of two items? Not if, yet. Next turn. If you can open the vault. Oh, really? Yeah, because his turn ends. It he gets the event and his turn ends. Event. You're right, yes. To open and empty the vault. Rotten. The smell of this room. It is horrible. It smells like death. The blood. The slaughterhouse smell. You must attempt a sanity roll. <laughs> Dribbling orders, nothing more. Plus five. Okay, so. Well, you're pretty see. good at sanity, aren't you? Actually, yeah, no. but a four. Eh. Okay. And I can also do. You, I will. I can <coughs> one. You try to use my mask to increase my son. Um. No, I'll lose sanity. So not the mask. Uh, the dog, the dog is giving me one might insanity, and the adrenaline shot will boost anything I need. So can I use the adrenaline shot before or after the roll? You have to use have it. Have to use it be before. Before. Oh man, you've got so many good items that we're gonna lose when you fall into hell. You know <laughs> what? I'm sure the demons will love those items. 
Especially <laughs> that angel feather. Yeah. Yeah. It's delicious. They're going to make a stew. Um, it's going to be great. I'll just use... Well, since I'm dead anyway, I'll just use the adrenaline shot. Okay, before you attempt a trade roll, use this item and add four. So, I've got four sanity dice. Is that right? Yes. That appears correct. <clears throat> and you want to try to get a five or better Ooh. on this roll. So mythical America right. can't go there, no? No. Yeah. And then and when he no. adds, when it's, he's using his adrenaline shot, so he adds four to the result of that roll. So you just have to get one or better. Which means don't roll blanks. All right. Come on, baby. Double Come money, on, no whammy. Come on, blanks. <laughs> Ah, so close. Two. Blanks. Had a two. Two is good enough. Gain one sanity. Can you? Can can he gain? Can he do the knowledge roll to gain the two items? No, his right turn away, immediately or? ends. Oh. Okay, right, so now that your turn's over, go ahead and collapse one room adjacent to the abyss. Collapse the larder. <laughs> do it. Oh no. <coughs> it's your choice, so. Whoa. Okay, so now that you've done that, I need to read up some, on some rules. And can we take. Can we have this opportunity to take a break to the little demon's room? <laughs> little demon's room. Hmm. You wanna take a break? We all wanna take a break and then we'll take the trader turn? Sure. Okay. Sure, yeah. All right. Okay. Let me go ahead and see if I can. Well, I can't access OBS, so we're just gonna. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to break. We'll be back in a little bit, so we'll see you then. Yeah.